Hello and welcome back to the Eradicators. I am your host, the Eradicator, and today we are going to review Age of Empires 3 African Royals, which is the game's newest DLC that was released just yesterday. Interestingly, this is not the first DLC, and yes, I say DLC, not expansion, more on that later, that Microsoft released for the last entry of the series, as an American Civilization DLC was also introduced shortly after the release of the Definitive Edition, but this one has more content to it, which wasn't difficult, and that's why uh, it is worth a review. So, is it worth buying? Does it add anything to the game? Let's find it out right now. So, let's jump straight to the content provided to us by this African Royals DLC. And yes, as mentioned earlier, it is a DLC and not an expansion. So if you were expecting full-fledged campaigns like in War Chiefs or Asian Dynasties, then you are in for a disappointment, as the only additional content that was given to solo players were a few maps for random games and three historical scenarios, which follow the footsteps of the two new civilizations that are introduced in DLC. See, the Hosa, which are located in modern-day Nigeria, and the Ethiopians, as well as a third scenario that lets you play as the Moroccans, which, in my opinion, highlights the impression of laziness that surrounds this DLC, as this is a missed opportunity to me to introduce Morocco as a civilization, which would have made total sense given its history and troublesome relationship with major European powers such as Portugal, Spain, and later France, but more on that later, as it is not the uh, only civilization, in my opinion, that is missing from this DLC. Now, the other thing that is greatly missing in this DLC are, as I mentioned, full-fledged campaign. One of the reasons people play Age of Empires campaigns is because it allows us to learn a little bit of history with some interesting facts while being entertained and playing a video game at the same time. Playing Age of Empires 2 as a kid allowed me to learn about Genghis Khan, Moctezuma 2, or Moctezuma II, I should say, Barbarossa, and even the history of Asia in the rise of the Rajas. And you know, with this DLC, I would have loved to learn more about Ethiopia or the Hausa people. Especially, I think that there was a great opportunity for the developers to tell us about how Ethiopia managed to remain independent through the scramble of Africa, or the scramble for Africa, sorry, as they successfully managed to repel Italy's attempt at colonizing them. Which leads us here to the last missed opportunity here, Italy. And anyone who knows hi history a little bit knows how deeply intertwined Italy is with Ethiopia when it comes to Africa. And having them as the main antagonist uh, of an Ethiopian campaign would have made sense and would have given us the last missing major European civilization to have tried expensing us of the continent. But who knows, maybe they'll come in another paid mini DLC. Moving on to gameplay now, and I'm going to go straight to the fact here with these new uh, African civilizations. Uh, they do bring new ways to play the game, and I love the influence system generated by the universities that allow you to recruit some soldiers from other parts of the African continent, and even some colonial forces, notably from the British late in the game. I also like the new wizard type of unit that scare off enemy troops, which does reflect how superstitious people of these civilizations were at that time. So this is actually adding some to uh, some 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 to realism here. Each of these uh, civilizations also come with their own bespoke architecture and unique units, as well as their own native language, as you would expect in an Age of Empires game. However, it's a shame that some generic units, especially siege units, use the same European models for soldiers that handle them. Why on earth are there some pale-skinned, blonde Hausa cannoneers? And I'm afraid here again that uh, the answer lies in the devs being too lazy to design a new model for these civilizations. And given how often you need siege units in the game, this very quickly becomes a reminder that perfectly symbolizes how rushed and incomplete this DLC feels compared to what it could or should have been. In the end, I'm going to give this African Royals DLC a 6 out of 10. Sure, it's nice to finally see some African civilizations in Age of Empires 3, and the game runs well and is relatively bug-free, but the DLC feels rushed overall. It's a shame that it offers such little content for $10, and I think that it should have included at least a campaign at this price, instead of three mere historical scenarios that will grant you three hours of gameplay at most. 
And while the new maps and music are nice, I also think that more attention should have been given to details. I hope that this is not the road Microsoft decides to take for Age of Empires 4, because if it is, then we're in for a whole leap of lackluster content. And that's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. But let me know in the comment section down below what would you have expected from this African Royals DLC. As I, said, as I said before, I would have expected at least a campaign, but unfortunately, that's not what it is. But let me know in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys next time for more content on the channel. This is The Eradicator. Have a great day. Shout out to Dr. Forben, as well as Tella and Eric for sponsoring the channel on Patreon. This is The Eradicator. I'll see you guys later. This video is brought to you by the people who support this channel on Patreon and via the join button as well. Supporters of the channel get access to lots of cool perks such as access to my private discord, your question answered in the show, you get to know when I'm going to play, and also, you get to have a chance to influence the editorial line of the channel. Any help is appreciated, starts as just a dollar a month. Thank you very much for watching, this is The Eradicator, and I'll see you guys later.